Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. This is module six of the HR database. In this module, I want to show you how to create parameter queries so you can pull information off for an individual in this database. So first of all, I need to create a query. So let's do that, create query design. And then I've got to decide which tables I want. Well, I want the staff details table. So I'll just bring that on there. And then if we look at the absent table, I'll just do that for now. So what I want is first name and surname from that table. And then I want the absent type like so and the duration. So let's have a quick look at that. So that's going to give me the names and the number of days they were either absent or sick. And you've got the type listed there. So she's been sick 89 days. So that's good. But I want this to be per person so what I'm going to do is underneath the surname column I'm going to set up a parameter query now if I do shift f2 that should zoom that box box up so you can see it better what you have to do is open square brackets and then type a prompt for yourself so enter surname is what I'm going to put that's all you have to do and that will trigger the parameter box Click OK, like so, and it sits there underneath the surname column. Now, if I just quickly go into the table, so we've got Dave Jones there. I think he's got quite a few records, and then there's Carol. So if I do it for Dave Jones first off, so if I go query design and run, test it out. So you do Jones as a surname, and you press Enter or click OK, and then it tells you the information for him. So that's working. And if I go back into it and run it again, this is the whole point of it. I can now type a different name. So I'll type Saxton and run it. And there's that one. Go back into it, run it again, and then type Manton, a different name again. So each time you run the query, it will allow you to type a different person's name in it. Well, let's save this. So if I just save this query, yep, as QRY absent, isn't it? Absent by name, no spaces, by name. QRY absent by name, OK to that. Close it all that down. So now I've got that one there. I can create my report. So I'm going to click on create. I'm going to use the report wizard for this. It's already got that selected sending everything across and then it's already picking it up as first name surname and then the type and duration going next i don't need to do any grouping on that now because that's okay following it through i don't want any sorting you've got summary options there because there's a number field but i don't need to summarize the duration because it's already a summarized field go next i want it in landscape and i like it like that stepped and then next and all I need to do there is put RPT in front of that and then that qualifies that as the report name and click finish and it should generate it it's asking me for a name so I'll go Jones first because it's based on the parameter query and then it showed me Jones there like so so it's not great the layout and as I've said many many times I'm not a fan of using the wizard and I tend not to but just so you can see how that works what I would now do is probably recreate that and go into design and do this myself, tidy this up. But for now, if I just close that, come out of this, and then what you've got down here is that report. So now I can run it for each of those people. It's running the parameter query behind the scenes. So that's just showing Saxton and the information's there still. Two durations, two days. Close it, run it again. And this time call it Man use Manton and it picks her up her sick days she's on long term six eight to nine days close it off so if i go to the form that we created before staff records so this is the courses sub form so if i go down to the absent one so i've got the option here look of selecting from a drop down list i'll go late and today's date and it's today's date so duration is going to be zero because it's the same day 
And if I pick a different option, should have done date time there, I'll go sick. And then it'll go yesterday till today. So I'll go 18th, 12, 20, 23. And then today's date, which is control semicolon. And then that works that out. So now there's three items for Saxton. If I close this form down, run the report again, type Saxton, it should pick those three items up. Those three items there, look. 102. So everything's working okay. I'm happy with that so far. So that's all I want to do on this little session. Next session, we'll look at a new feature, a different feature. But hopefully that video is all right for you. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.